Welcome to Midweek Update at Kingswood Church. We're a United Methodist community where all are welcomed. We're glad you're joining us this time. This Sunday's gospel lesson shows us how popular Jesus was with all people. It shows you that no matter where he went, people found him and sought something from him. It's also one of the meanest gospel lessons if you take it literally and at face value. A woman, a foreigner, comes pleading for healing for her daughter. Jesus basically says, I can't give the children's bread to dogs. Did he mean that the Jews were his special people and all others were no more than what we in the South would call yard dogs? That all his healing power was for his own people? We can say with assurance, I believe, that it was not what he meant. In fact, the entire focus of all the Gospels is about others, neighbors, the poor, the alien, the rejected. What he was doing, I think, was challenging the woman's faith. Did she come thinking of him as a miracle dispenser or as one from God who could truly do great things for others to show God's acceptance of all? This was a woman of deep wisdom, deep faith, and quick wit. She responded to Jesus. Even the dogs get the crumbs under the table of the children. That's especially true when the children are messy and spill and toss their food. Jesus sees her faith and her strong sense of wisdom and sends her on her way to greet her healed daughter. Sometimes, my friend, Jesus simply wants to know if our faith is real and we think of him more than just a provider of good things. Do we really have faith that he, Jesus, will care for our needs, even in messy and funny ways? Tell him what you want. Tell him what you need. And in faith, see how he will answer us. Amen. Tonight is Acts 2.42. While it's too late to register today, you are welcome to join us for the program at 6.15 in the gym. Next week, we're going to have Sloppy Joe's French Fries Salad and Dessert. Register online with Realm or by Monday noon, letting us know at the website. Invite a friend who's looking for a church to be your guest and treat him to a great evening. The adult Sunday school classes are having a friendly competition this fall. They're working to grow their small groups by inviting you to join them at 945 on Sunday mornings. There's a lot of great events planned for these adult small groups that will bless your heart and your life. This week, I want to lift up the Faith and Fellowship class. The class is taught by Jackie Posma and begins a new study on the book, The Rock, The Road, and The Rabbi. They will visit Israel with host Kathy Lee Guilford and Rabbi Jason Sobel. Come join them in room 210 of the Christian Life Center this fall and learn the Jewish wisdom from teachings of the New Testament. Do you know someone who might like to learn about Kingswood Church, this United Methodist community of ours? Starting this Sunday and running the next three Sundays, we'll be offering a Kingswood 101 class at 10 a.m. in room 226, next to the Worship Cares Room, right off the lobby of the sanctuary. We will look at the history of the United Methodist Church and Kingswood history as well. Each week, we're going to dive into the mission and vision and core values of Kingswood Church. This is open to anyone, but especially to our guests who might be considering membership at Kingswood. Sign up on Realm today or go to the website to sign up. So what? This is the title of our three-week sermon series coming up beginning on Sunday. I hope you'll make every effort to find out what we do with what we believe as disciples of Jesus Christ. Join us at 845 or 11 o'clock for worship in person or online and bring your friends, bring your neighbors to discover with you, so what? We want you to keep in your prayers Jeff and Pam Morris upon the death of their son Jess last week. Also join us as we celebrate the birth of Bex Lewis two weeks ago. The white rose on the altar Sunday was for Jess and the red rose was for Bex as we celebrate and give thanks for what has been and what will be. Remember also to keep in your prayers Geraldine Wagner, who will be having jaw surgery this week in Texas. Friends, you are so special and so awesome to me. I thank God every day for the privilege of being your pastor and getting to love each one of you. So don't forget how special you are and that you are truly loved. We'll see you tonight or on Sunday morning. Call me if you need me. Be blessed.